my friends in Neverwinter. I wanted to show you this video because it's something I don't think a lot of players look at. My regular Neverwinter friends know I spent some time making an Astral Diamond. I've done several videos on great ways to make a lot of AD when you're playing Neverwinter. And this is something I thought I should share with you. Anytime you have a new mod that comes out or anytime a new lockbox comes out, they'll often contain some top tier items. You can see a, a couple of these lockbox packs as I'm highlighting here have legendary mounts listed at the top. And in this case, this one has the mythic polar bear siege mount in the legendary brown bear mount. And if you notice in this particular lockbox that these mounts are listed and then they have a dash in the word account next to them, that means when you have the mount or buy the mount, you can use it account wide. So if you don't know about this, like in my case, go back to my main screen here, I have these alts or alternate characters that I run with. Bear with me for just a second here. So anyway, if I buy one of those mounts, or if I happen to get lucky and get one of those mounts that say a count next to it, that means that I can equip that mount. Um, and I have one here in my inventory I can show you real quick. I have one in my inventory I can show you real quick. Like this T-Rex here, the King of Spines. This is an account wide mount. I got it uh, from a lockbox drop a couple months back. And so I am able to equip this mount on all of my characters. So even if I hadn't gotten this from a lockbox, if I bought it and I did get it from the lockbox, I can equip it on that character in this character, my Hunter Ranger, all the way down through. So I think you get the idea on that. Now if you didn't know that, now you do. Uh, that can save you a lot of Astral Diamonds. can generally be a little more pricey to buy an account-wide mount, but if you think you're going to play the game a lot, it can save you a lot of Astral Diamonds in the long run because you can share a mount like that. And uh, that's pretty cool. If you didn't know that part, you know it now. Now, another thing I wanted to show you, when I was talking about those lockboxes, um, if you notice in the center of your screen, you'll see when a player opens a lockbox and they get a special item, will flash up across the screen, especially with a mythic mount. But you also see it with legendaries. Well, they kind of, when a lot of players are getting those at the same time, they start to flood the market. So, at least for a brief period of time, while they're hot, and a lot of players are using enchanted keys to open those lockboxes. A lot of those mounts come out, and a lot of players like to turn around and flip those or sell those. And so what you can do when you, when you have a new lockbox that's out like that, and I recommend you get an account-wide mount, but if you're really in a pinch and don't have any legendary mounts, uh, sometimes you need to check your pricing on it, but oftentimes it's a lot cheaper just to buy the mount already upgraded than to buy one at Epic and level it up. But you can see right here I've got two mounts. I have the uh, new Hags Cooking Cauldron mount and the uh, we have one at the top here, the Brown Siege Bear Legendary mount. And these are both account wide and they're about a million Astral Diamonds. <laughs> it would cost you a lot to take it from Epic to Legendary. So you could buy one of these and use it on all of your characters. Same thing holds true with Mythic, of course, but that'll run you a bit more in Astral Diamonds. And if you haven't taken a look at that Cauldron Mount, if you need some combat advantage, for 10 seconds you get a bonus to your accuracy and combat advantage. And then just, just by having it equipped, you can boost your awareness. So if you need some stats there, it can help you out there. But the price on this will stay low, at least for a little while. Another thing you could do is also buy one of these, or if you if you have the extra Astral Diamonds, you could buy maybe one or two more beyond what you want to use, if you can afford it. Hold on to it for a little bit and uh, resell it a few months down the road. That's a little bit more of a gamble because as they tweak with these drop rates and stuff right now, uh, it's a little more risky, but that's something for you to consider as you move through the game. Just to show you, I bought one of these myself. I paid a little bit more for it, but I got it last night. I just wanted to make sure I had one and didn't forget. A little bell went off that, ah, you know what, I should share that with you. Because some of you may not know or pay attention to that kind of thing. But I got one of my very own here. So if you have the Astro Diamonds and you need a legendary mount, I would recommend you do the same. And if you can swing it, go ahead and go for that mythic. And I'll have some links down in the description below so you can click on more videos. And I also have gear listed that I'd like to use and it might be helpful to you. I get a small commission if you make a purchase through one of the links I have. Make sure you subscribe for more great Neverwinter videos. And thanks for watching.